It's another early morning for Estefania Sanchez. Starting her day before sunrise is all part of the routine. I'm just trying to get myself out of bed because it's so early, I'm so tired. And I pick out my clothes the night before because I'm just so exhausted. And like any teenager getting ready for a long day of school, good hair is important. Then it's time to put on the shoes and catch the bus. My uncle and I, we walk a few blocks to the bus stop. We wait there for like 10 minutes. But she's not waiting for a school bus. She's waiting for the city bus. Good morning. Good morning. To understand why Estefania is on a city bus on her way to school, we have to take a look back. Just last year, Estefania made the choice to move back to New Jersey where the rest of her family lives. Her grandfather, diagnosed with cancer, had only a short time left to live. But leaving high school during senior year meant leaving behind close friendships and trusted teachers. Going up there was just, everything was new, and I'll, it was only planned for a year, but unfortunately it was cut short. Cut short when Estefania's grandfather passed away. After his passing, yeah. Estefania knew there was only one thing left to do. I knew when I was coming back, I would come live with her. She's talking about her grandmother, who, just a few years prior to her grandfather's passing, was also diagnosed with a type of thyroid cancer. I don't think I'll ever get used to it. I still think about it all the time. I still worry, even though she tells me not to, but that's like impossible. Even while we were there, our cameras captured raw moments of compassion which takes us back to the bus. With her grandmother living 15 miles from South Fort Myers High School, the only way for Estefania to get to the school she left behind is through public transportation. And our family education is really, really important. Coming from uh, two families that migrated from different countries and coming here, I want to do something big for them because they went through so much to give all the grandchildren these opportunities. And since I'm the oldest, I want to make a better example for my cousins and my siblings. So how many minutes in an hour? Deciding to attend South Fort Myers High School wasn't an easy choice. But Estefania sees it as a challenge, a feat to accomplish and a goal to meet. Because to Estefania, you finish what you start. is equal to how much? Even though I went to New Jersey and it was like completely new, coming back, I knew I was gonna go back to South, no matter what. And as fate would have it, Guidance. South would have something to give back yes. to her. Thanks to a grant from the Foundation for Lee County Public Schools and the Future Makers Coalition, Estefania's dream of attending college would become a reality at a scholarship presentation just outside the school. I just stood there and she was shaking me like, you won, yeah, you won. Like, no, I didn't. <laughs> you won, what's going on? But she did win. In fact, she is one of two students chosen to receive a $10,000 scholarship to attend Florida Southwestern State College in Southwest Florida this fall. Mom, ¿te acuerdas de esa cosa que te dije ayer del scholarship que alguien iba a ganar? Yeah. Yo gané. No. Diez mil dólares. Absolutely, we chose the right person. She's taking care of a dying grandmother. Um, it's really the only other person in her life in terms of her family. Uh, she is, as um, has been indicated, a person that is obviously dedicated to education. If God wasn't here for her and wasn't here with her, and if he didn't give her all the blessings that he did, I don't know what would have happened. I don't know what I would do without God's blessings. Thank God he gave her everything she has right now. I ask God every day that he blesses her and be with her. So God be with her. She's a good girl. She let people guide her. No matter who the guide is, Estefania shows us that it isn't about the distance. It's that eventually... Florida Southwestern, please. You get there.